rig and what they do. It's a little breezy, so just try to stay with me and turn your volume up if you need to. Just try to get rid of some of the wind noise. Um, so we're under full sail. For me, that means flying every available sail that can be flown. We have our wind at about 120 degrees off of our starboard stern, so we're on a broad reach. This is when we can fly everything, uh, and we got about 15 knots of wind right now, so we're on the upper limits to flying everything. Uh, we have our large asymmetrical spinnaker out, it's about 2,000 square feet. Uh, we got our staysail pulled out just for fun, because it's there, and we can still use it to add a little bit of balance. Our mainsail, our mizzen staysail, and then our mizzen sail. Uh, when you're flying sails out this far, you'll want to put preventers on your booms. So we have a preventer on the main, and we have a preventer on the mizzen. Uh, this keeps, uh, when you have an accidental jive, it keeps things from flailing around and breaking, or uh, even worse, hurting somebody. So we, wanted, we don't want to do any of those uh, things. So we always put preventers on things, especially on long, long passages. We want to make sure that everything's all nice and strapped down so we don't break anything. We're usually out here a really, really long way, so having to fix things underway is a way of life when you're sailing offshore. Um, but it doesn't have to be, not if you take care of things beforehand. So now I'm gonna show you the sails. I'm gonna show you a little bit of sails through uh, some of our drone video that I just shot. Um, so when I'm calling them out and calling out some of the rigging, you can see what I'm talking about. Um, also, I'm gonna walk you around on the deck. I've got the camera set up on a really wide angle right now. Um, so you can see around me. I'm trying to talk, you know, downwind so the wind doesn't mess up the audio. So here's the sails set. You can see most of everything. I'm just sitting up on the bow pulpit. So we have our asymmetrical spinnaker, our stay sail. This is our jib right here. It's furled up, so you can't fly the jib and the asymmetrical spinnaker because the tack point of the asymmetrical spinnaker is exactly right up there. This line right here allows us to adjust that tack point up and down. So if I was stronger, I could pull that down. We have this line run through a block on the deck right here by my leg, and then it goes back to the cockpit on a winch um, so we can adjust the tack of the asymmetrical sail. And then our sheet for the sail, you'll see it way out there. That adjusts our sheet and our uh, clue of the sail in and out. Uh, right now, this thing's about 35, 40 feet off the deck from where the attachment point is on the rail all the way out to the clue of the sail. So it's way out in front of the boat, uh, but we've got the right wind angle to do it. Uh, we're about maximum right now for wind speed and flying this sail. As you can see, it's really pulling some stuff out here. We're about nine and a half knots right now. Uh, we're crossing the Gulf Stream in Florida. So as the current kind of pushes us back and slows us down, uh, the effect of the wind on the boat is greater. So we just watch all this stuff and play it safe. Uh, we'll probably reduce sail when it gets dark here in just a little bit. Moving on back, this is our stay sail. A little small sail compared to everything else. We have its sheet attached here. It goes down to a track on the deck. And then that sheet goes all the way up, about halfway up by the mast. It's actually a little caught up right there. Uh, but it attaches just below the mast head light, or the steaming light, whichever one you want to call it. And then back down to the cockpit. It's a single, uh, single line sheet system. Um, so you don't have tracks on both sides for the stay sail. You just have one across. So it's self-tacking. This is uh, our main boom preventer. It's attached here. So it's... It's pleated up there and goes through the hall's pipe back up to the back of the boom. You see that there? You can also see our sheet line goes through uh, between the preventer all the way out to the end of the asymmetrical. Moving on around, this is our mainsail all the way up. Uh, mainsail on this boat's about from the water line, it's 70 off the deck or 70 off the water. Um, so it's a pretty tall main. Of course, we're running all of it right now. It's what's pushing us across the stream here in the Florida Straits. 
And then we have this nice, pretty blue, uh, red, white, and blue sail. This is our mizzen stay sail. So if you see where it's attached, at the top of the mizzen mast, right up there, this right here is the tack. And it attaches to one of the stays on the main. You can see where it barely floats in, barely touching the mainsail there. That's, that's about right. Uh, the clue could probably be let out a little bit more. The clue actually goes from the sail down to the boom on the mizzen mast at the end and then back to a, uh, a winch in the cockpit. So it's about a 40 foot line that runs from the clue through the boom back to the cockpit. That's, that allows us to adjust the clue and it keeps the clue out away uh, from the deck, especially when that mizzen's let out a little bit more. We were going too fast earlier and uh, we were losing losing wind off of it, so we brought it in a little bit. Uh, this is a you know four to one purchase here. So this is what it adjusts the tack of the mizzen stay sail. And then these are running back stays that are not attached right now. These are running back stays for the main. Goes up there and attaches. And then one last one that we're doing, we're flying today is our mizzen. That's on this mast. When you get back here, things are not quite as windy. All that all that air flowing off the bottom of those sails really makes it windy. So back here is a little bit calmer. Uh, we're probably going to let this main out or the, the mizzen out a little bit more. And then we have our back deck. We got our fishing gear set up, barbecue grill, which we hardly ever get to use. Um, you know, a few other things on the decks so are our live raft, throw buoys, little lounge on the back where we uh, can hang out. And then if I show you the, uh, the guest crew members that are on board today, you're going to laugh because they're all lazing out in the cockpit. Everybody's got a lot going on today, huh? Rough day. Rough day, rough day at sea. Yeah. No, got to do it. Yep, yep. Bo, what's our speed? 7.8. 7.8, yeah. We got a little, we're pushing a little current right now. All right, so anyway, that's a, that's the sail plane of the Libra, kind of in a nutshell. Um, you like tweaking sails and making sail changes this is this is where to do it this is where to learn to do it so come on out and join us on a sail we'd love to have you